Hey guys, welcome to Char welcome to How to Make It in Minecraft Episode 4, my Minecraft tutorial series. Uh, this is Charlie Spencer 99 and I, I have prepared a little bit for this episode. Um, I've gathered some seeds, and I've gotten a stone hoe, uh, but what I'm going to do is, oops, I dropped it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to make one. Um, so here we go. You're going to need this for farming. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make a farm today. We're going to make a we're going to make a farm and then we're going to uh also hopefully get uh shear a sheep so that we don't have uh so that we can uh make a bed with the wool. So uh let's get started. So you need this for farming. It's like a tiller and then you need seeds. Now I'm going to show you how to get seeds. You can't get them from Home Depot. <laughs> uh, here's what you have to do. You have to just take an empty hand, or well, this is the best way. You can hit it with anything, but and then just hit this, hit it this tall grass, not the normal grass, not like this, not that stuff, the tall grass. And I suppose I can hit it with the dirt too, but. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to get about 12, 16 seeds. I'm not going to get too many because I don't have enough time. But, you know, if you have the time, just grab lots of them. The more you grab, the bigger your first harvest will be. And what this is going to be is a wheat farm. Fifteen seeds. Let's get one more. Oh. Ta da! Oops, now I gotta get one more again because I want it to be even. Oh, there we go. 18 seeds, perfect. Now, what we want to do is get our stone hoe out and go over here. This looked like a nice place for a farm earlier. Oh, there's iron right there. Gonna go ahead and grab that. Uh, as you can see, you do things slower underwater. Uh, okay, so we grabbed a little bit. We got a little bit of iron there. That's cool. Uh, actually, you know what? This spot looks like a better spot for a uh, for a farm, actually. So let's fill in. Let's square this out a little bit with some dirt. There we go. It's a little squarish now. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, I want to till the earth here. So take your stone hoe and uh, let me demonstrate something. If you right click this area next to water, um, it'll get like this. That is fertilized soil or good soil. That's because it's in your water and it's got lots of moisture. Now that'll go back four blocks. So if I do it right here, this isn't going to get fertilized. The these it, it will up to here, and then this block won't get fertilized. So let's just get rid of that. And what we'll do is we'll make our farm similar to this. Uh, let's see. We could do it like. Let's ruin this land here. Help! Uh, it's actually for the good, right? <laughs> um, so this will be the center. Well, huh? I'll have a two center path and then a. Oops. <coughs> there. I wonder. Here, I'll remove this tree, and then I will uh, have it like that. Yeah, okay. Ooh, there is some reeds here. I'll leave those be. Uh, 
what I want to do is get this right here. I suppose this won't look very pretty, but I can do that and it will get uh, fertilized. There we go. Alright. Oh, just stepped on it. There we go. Now we want to light this up a little bit, so we'll just put, because uh, it grows better in the light, actually, so you definitely want to have some light. And then you want to replace it. There we go. And just right click your seed with your seeds, and it will uh, plant them down. This only works if you right click on fertilized earth. If you right click here, nothing happens. So uh, you can walk all over your crops, but if you jump on them, it will uh, ruin it. So uh, don't do that. Uh, I'm working at nighttime, so this isn't very safe, but okay. And then uh, just use up all your seeds, I suppose. And what you want to do is it will go through several stages. It'll go through several stages, and it, then it'll eventually be full grown. And then you want to left click it to harvest the wheat. And you can make bread with it and some other stuff. But um, a way to speed this up is to make um, Instagrow or bone meal. Um, drop bones that you get from skeletons into your crafting box, and you will get bone meal. Just left quit, left click, and we'll just make all those bone meal. And then just right click on a crop, and it will uh, instantly make it fully grown. And voila! So now just left click these and it will it will have a chance of dropping one to four seeds I believe and it will always 100% of the time drop uh one wheat. That's per uh per uh wheat thing that you planted per seed. And uh there we go. We planted all these. Now we're just going to let that grow and I'm going to actually you want to get your shears out because we're going to go uh, I need to do this quick because it's dark out and that's not good. So, um, I saw a patch of sheep, or a flock of sheep over here. And what I want to do is I want to go to those and I want to harvest some of their wool. So, if you kill a sheep, then what they do is basically, basically what they'll do if you kill one, which they're hard to kill because they run fast, <laughs> uh, is they'll drop one wool as you can see from right there. But it's more efficient to make the shears that I showed you how to make in the last episode and then right click them. And they if get, that you save their lives and they still they still uh they drop more wool. So it's it's a win-win situation, right? And sometimes they drop 3. I think it's 1 through 3 uh and that's just random chance. Um so that's good. Um, the shears can also be used to, if you punch these, you can actually collect tall grass and collect leaves, um, which is really cool. And these are like actual blocks. You can place these and these, actually. Oops, wrong ones. Uh, see? You can place these and you can place these. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these and maybe use them for later. And we will definitely use our shears later for uh, other things. But right now what we want to do is we want to go up to our hidey hole and we want to make a bed. And uh, we also, well actually I think we just want to make a bed. And um, yeah, so I hope this tutorial series is uh, informative. Please let me know in the comments and uh, yeah. So, wooden planks, and then wool on top, arrange them like that, and uh, it makes a bed. It only comes in one color, just red, uh, and so we'll just put our bed right there, and right click it. This only works at night, so right click it, and it. this actually sets your spawn location, or your respawn location. So, whenever I die, now I'll spawn right here. And as you can see, when I right-click it, it says you can only sleep at night because it's daytime. It makes it day instantly. Uh, so this is a very useful tool, especially because we've had several times where I, I know you guys would probably have already found times where you want to get straight to daytime and you don't want to wait out the night for these dumb monsters. But, uh, yeah. 
So let's check on our farm. It seems to be growing nicely. Can you see how some of them are growing a little bit? Yeah, that's that's some of the stages I was talking about. So it goes through like five stages, I think. Um, but anyways, this I'm gonna start come up here and start cooking my iron. And uh, so yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna do. I'm not really sure how all this is gonna work together. But um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get into a little bit of a talk about the tutorial series. I'm not sure uh, exactly how all this is gonna work out, but uh, I know that we've gotten some covered some pretty good ground. So uh, I hope you really find this informative. Definitely tell me in the comments. Uh, what I want to do is wa I want to start cooking this up. Just put this in here. Store these not that store my wool and then oh that's one thing I forgot to do I'll go down and do that you can make bread like this and we're gonna save a little bit of the wheat bread and you get the achievement uh, bake bread so we're making a couple more iron ingots we're just gonna store those in there cuz we don't need them right now and we want to save them uh, what we want to do actually right now is I'm going to uh, I don't know about you guys but I am going to uh, set down some stuff I forgot to do this it is smart to set down a basic little ba uh, miniature base down there and when I say miniature base I mean uh, along the lines of like a uh, crafting table uh, furnace, maybe even a chest, but not right now. Uh, so I'm just gonna dig a little spot to do that. Here we go. Set down our crafting table and our furnace. I'll drop a little coal in there. One, two, three. So, anyways, I hope you found this tutorial uh very informative. Uh, I'd appreciate a like, comment, and hopefully if you really like it, subscribe. Thank you a lot for watching. This is Charlie Spencer 99 signing off.